Ice Sketch Pad Podcast. We back. Super Tuesday, baby. You know what I'm saying? Trump is on track to win the win the uh, nomination for the uh, you know for his uh, secure his spot in the nominee for the Republican Party. Uh, Nikki Haley is getting smoked right now, so we're gonna talk about that, man. So we be back. All right, man, look, man, we back. You know what I mean? So we're going to just talk about voting and um, the narrative that's being pushed and why do people usually tend to vote one way and vote the other way. And You know what I'm saying? We're going to get into that. So, you know what I'm saying? So I know you had a couple of questions and, uh, let's, you know, go ahead, shoot off something, man. Let's see if I can answer it as best as I can. All right, so... Going back to my my other question I asked you off camera. So when we were talking about um, voting and the presidency and things like that, and so do you think that the reason why they point, they, they paint all these narratives, especially when it comes to like, let's just say for, for health sake, you know, let's talk same sex marriage, right? We know for fact that it's not a natural thing, right? And we know for a fact that it's it's not something that should be done. But considering the fact most presidents, I'm not saying Trump, I'm not saying anybody on the Republican Party, but I'm just saying in general, most presidents, because the Democrats have been so dominant you know what I mean, for the last few years before Trump came into the picture, most presidents agreed to same-sex marriage. Do you think, do you feel is that is for their votes to bring them in, to let them know that they have somebody on their side, or is it just, it, well, I mean, let's be for real, it is for their votes. Let's let's just cut the shit. It are is you, for their we, votes. Are you asking me a question or are you going to answer the question? <laughs> No, no, because no, I'm asking you, do you think yeah. what I'm saying to myself, well, that's kind of like a self explanatory. It is for their votes. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just curious because, like, you know what I mean? It's not, it's, it's unethical, but people, you know what I mean? They still, the presidents, most of the time, they still agree upon it. So that's why I'm asking. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's not actually not true. Um, most presidents didn't don't agree with same sex marriage. That was when Obama came into play, in his second term. His first term, he didn't agree with that. He didn't support. Uh, so why? So marriage. why? All right. So in that case, then thing. why? So then why agree upon it now? Like because because I right, so look the uh, LGBTQI plus whatever you want to call it community has. They're not a big community, but they put themselves in positions where they they're very powerful. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's certain places and certain things that they have did that influence people. Now, it's all about the money. So when you have different organizations or different uh, outlets supporting this and they make it out to be something like, uh, let's say, for example, like they say, Oh, um, is bigotry it, at they attach a word to it or something that will literally make it, they'll demonize you. So no matter who you are, you could be a politician or you could be somebody on the street. If you are at a high level, it looks even worse if you support same sex marriage or whatever, if you don't support it, I'm saying, if you go against the, the, that community, you know what I'm saying? If you look at it, if you are on a low level and you do it, it makes you look even bad because what, what the, what the, 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 that community did was they took themselves and they extrapolated themselves with oppression. So now every person 
from the big companies down to the small individual, if you don't like that, it's kind of like calling a black person a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because now, mm. now, um, you are a bigot. And it don't matter what color you are because you don't accept them for who they are. It's a difference mm-hmm. between us as being black because we were born black. And this is why they always say, well, we're born this way. This is where we were born. You know what I'm saying? But, but yeah. well, this is how I feel. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to, they took the black person's oppression and he had added it to themselves and was like, well, this is what we're going to use. And every time they explain it, they always say, people of color, marginalized people in the, in the gay community. We're being attacked because you and me are not being attacked, but we're black. So since we're black, we automatically put in the category with them. They, this is what they do because uh-huh. what we go through, what we went through is totally different from what they go through, but they have to make it feel like they're important. So to answer your question, um, the, Nowadays, that movement is very strong. And it's not because it's a lot of them. It's because of sympathizers. People who just fold and be like, oh, um, yeah, a man could be a woman. A woman could be a man. That's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It don't bother me. Or they say, well, this guy doesn't like it. This politician don't like it. Well, I'm not voting for him because that's not right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's the same thing as saying this politician don't like black people. Well, I ain't voting for him because he don't like black people. That's what they yeah. did. This is why it's so prevalent because they have a- attached the oppression of black people to themselves and now they're using it. If you get what I'm saying. Mm. Nah, that makes sense. That makes perfectly good sense, you know. I just, I just feel like asking that because, like, I, I, the way they paint the narrative, they made it seem like, like this was going on for years. You know what I mean? That's what they made it seem like. So that's why I, I, I got that wrong when I said that, uh, you know, most of the Democrats or Republicans, whatever, agree upon it when they were in office. You know what I mean? Because they painted that narrative for so long that this is the right wave and this is what you need to do. You know, well, well, really, it's not. Well, I will say this. This uh, progressive and um, uh, this progressive movement is a new thing. Mostly. People could say it's old, 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 it came. No, this is new. Don't get me wrong. Like, they were in the 80s. It was, it was, it was, Gay people in the 80s, gay people in the 70s, it was, but they didn't, they wasn't respected to the point now where people are not respected. They fear the people. Yeah. Not that they respect them, they fear what's going to happen to them. Because right. back in the day, I will give them that, there was a lot of uh, gay cr- hate crimes and gay crimes. It was. That's, that's, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Same right. thing with blacks. Same thing. But I think when with your sexuality is something different because nobody has to know that that's who you are. You can keep that to yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's where the big difference comes in that to me between black people and whatever that community is doing. Because if you are black, people know you're black. There's no way around it. You can't hide that. I don't care if you dark from Haiti. I don't care if you dark from Africa. I don't care if you dark from from Cambodia. You still dark and you can't avoid it because you're dark. You're a different color. If you're gay or if you're a homosexual or whatever, no one has to know. You can Uh keep that to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's what happens. So the, the progressives and the, and the, uh, the, the liberal, the, the left leaning liberals, they all push that out. And now that whole narrative is out there with the transgenderism and everything. And it's just there. And it's, it's, I, I'm not going to say it's unstoppable 
But I will say that it becomes a fight because you and I don't agree with not that we don't agree with your their lifestyle. We don't agree with you pushing it on somebody that's innocent, that don't know. Exactly. Nobody. That's what we don't exactly. agree with. You know what I'm saying? But exactly. as far as the uh, what's the name goes, um, answer your question. Yeah, uh, it was it was it was it was, it was the progressive. So you got anything else? Any other questions? No, that was like one of the, really the main the main question right there because I just always wondered about it. You know, like, you know, why are they always agreeing? But you, but you confirmed it. They're not always agreeing. You know that Obama started that when he first came in office. Not a second so term. So I get it. Second, second yeah, term. Second term. First sorry. term. First term. He 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 avoided that. He avoided same sex marriage and this stuff. And I believe that I don't believe that same sex marriage is actually legal. Still, I think believe it's. I don't believe that it's totally legal in the United States. I'm not sure about that. I don't know if the Supreme Court passed that or not, but it's a bunch of different, mm -hmm. bunch of different reasons why people vote. Because what happens is you get these, these what they call one issue voters. They don't care about nothing else. They just care about what they want to get the uh, mm -hmm. support because of that one issue. So the Democrats are very good at one issue things. They'll even talk about abortion. They'll talk about trans and gay rights. And again, they vote off of sympathy. People vote mm -hmm. out of sympathy for these people. It's either mm -hmm. with the Democrats is racism, trans, or or abortion. That's the three major things to them. The Republicans mm -hmm. use the economy, the border. You know what I'm saying? And and jobs. Well, that would be the economy. That's the Republicans. The Republicans worry about mm -hmm. things. And not opinions. The Democrats worry about opinions and not things. You know what I'm saying? So most of the time, what happens is when you get a Democratic president, he wants to please a certain community. Like look at Biden. What Biden did at the White House when he put up the, the rainbow flag in the middle of the American flag. Why? Does are you telling me that that the gay community is different from America. Why do they get a certain flag? Yeah, wow. that's why I don't know that neither. Because like, all of a sudden, like that flag disappeared. Like, you know, like I thought when you have a flag, it it's supposed to mean something. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not saying they flag them flag obviously means something to them. But what I'm saying is that it's supposed to represent something like larger than yourself like but I, that flag represents i don't know how to explain it but it's not it's not something that that you know most people of of a sane mind will gravitate to but it's become it's become more of a it, it's become global actually look, that that no you're right you're right but here's 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 what pisses me off about when they take out black people's oppression, and they apply it to themselves. Black people don't have a flag. No, we don't. Where's our flag at? Why don't we have a flag? You imagine if black people had a flag in America. You imagine how 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 that would look. Don't take don't 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 lump me in with y'all. Don't lump me in with you. That's you. Mm -hmm. The gay community do not lump black people in with y'all. I mean, don't get me wrong. Y'all got some black people in your community. There's a whole lot of them, but don't lump don't don't lump the average black person who's not homosexual into your group. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, as far as as far as the flag goes, that automatically puts you at odds with everybody because you're basically mm -hmm. saying that you have a privilege. You you're 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 here and we're here. We're a part mm -hmm. of the United States where we have a, a a a flag for the whole United States, but for some reason, you get a flag for you. And then you ask us to accept y'all and be all inclusive. How can you be all inclusive with something with your own flag? You don't see China coming here, waving a Chinese flag 
<laughs> and X and being all inclusive. If the Chinese person or Chinese person was born in America, they're waving the American flag. Yeah. Why? Why is it that they get this privilege? You know what I'm saying? Now, as far as the narrative that's being painted, right? And this is the reason why we're in the situation we're in with the voters, because the narrative is hate, 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 bigot, 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 racism, 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 white supremacy. Anything, any chance they get to paint that narrative, they're going to, because you know why? People will vote on for one issue. If they don't like this person because they're against abortion, no matter how good they do, they don't care about none of that other stuff. The economy could be the best economy ever. They don't care. Wow. They want to vote for him because he supports women's rights to choose. Doesn't matter if that candidate did everything right except for that one issue. And they'll say, I don't want him in there. And then what they'll do is they'll put a guy in there who supports that one issue, but then neglects everything else. And now they'd be like, yeah. well, I don't understand why I'm broke. I don't understand what, what's going on here. Why was milk $30? <laughs> what the hell? Eggs? How is eggs $35 for one egg? Because you supported that guy who was a bureaucrat and he basically sold everything. So that's yeah. all I'm saying, man. And it's gotten to that point where people now, they don't even vote off how they off of policy and how they feel. They vote because people they watch on TV tell them who to vote for. That's what they vote for. But I think now, and I will say this, and I'll let you go and we could close it out. There's an awakening happening. Oh, no, nah, there is. For sure. That, now, look. That, I remember when I first talked to you, you wasn't really a big Trump guy. I'm not saying you're a big no. Trump guy now, but you wasn't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You no. wasn't. My partner on my other show, he's not a Trump guy at all. He don't. He don't like Trump at all. But he had to agree that it's unfair to take him off the ballot. What I mean by an awakening, not even necessarily about Trump. Black people in this country are starting to wake up. It's even happening in New York. New York was happening in, in Chicago with, with, with this guy, Adams, Eric Adams in New York, who's giving the migrants all this money, a $10,000, up to $10,000 on a debit card. Migrants. I don't have a problem with people coming here the right way. But you're giving this, these people who came here money? What about the people that's been here? <laughs> you're going to give the guy, just like somebody walking in your crib and your wife give, your wife <laughs> that you've been with for 20 years never gave you anything. So sit down, I got you. Rub his feet. Rub his yeah, back. Right. Make him a plate. Now, bitch, don't make you no food at all. She don't rub your back. She don't do none of that. Yeah. But she gave you gave him a prop his feet up. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Right. Take him to work. Drop him off. Pick him up. Call him out of work to make sure he get to work. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you stand there like, how the fuck you doing all that for this guy? We, do, I've been with you for ten years. You never did none of that for me. Yeah, right. Oh, because he need the help. Like what? And this is what black people, when I mean that by an awakening, because they know that they've been used. Black people know that they have been used. And a lot of black people are still sleep or they just don't want to face the facts. But they have been being used for years. Yeah, for it's true. That's it. It's true. They'll give you crumbs. Oh, here's some welfare. It's okay. We got you. We'll help you. Just know when November come around, you know who to vote for. But 
you know, we got you. Yo, it's crazy. Yo, politicians, all politicians use that formula. Not all, all of politicians. them. I'll explain to you why they not all of them. Look, the reason why that's, that's not true, right? And this is this is how they got black people. I know this episode going to go on. I don't care. This is how they got black people, bro. Look. Yeah. So the Democrats in the inner cities, they all vote for Democrats, no matter what. Mm-hmm. And they rely on, they don't rely on them to vote for them. They basically do it by word of mouth. Because, see, my mom, my mom is a Democrat. Guess who else a Democrat? My sister. Guess who else? My cousin. Guess who else? So you know who they vote for? They come what they come, what they become. Traditional voters, passed down generational voters. We always mm-hmm. voted for Democrats, no matter what. Because you know why? The narrative was always painted that that side is bad. We'll give you what you need. That side ain't trying to give you nothing. That side over there is telling you, why do you want us to give you anything? You was always yeah. saying that you wanted to be free. And you don't want us to be in your business. So why do you want to take handouts? Isn't that the same thing that slaves did? Slavery, um, um, slave masters did? They gave you stuff for you to stay around, right? So how yeah. is it that the Republican Party is telling you we're not giving you nothing? But see, here's the here's the mind fuck, right? The trickery. The trickery is the person that's not giving you something is actually helping you more. Because they're telling you that you need to go out and do it on your own. It's like if your mom or your father told you, hey, boy, I need you to change that tire. And he done showed you how to change the tire on a car. And he said, I need you to change that tire. And you change the tire, right? Now you've done it on your own. Now you open up a shop and you changing tires, right? But see, here's what the Democrats yeah. do. The Democrats are unscrew all the screws for you and then say all right take the wheel off and then you take it off and then they then they say all right this is what we're going to do they do everything with you step by step for the rest of your life not mm. not to help you for the rest of your life and then what happens is now you say to them um yeah i was thinking about going over there. no no that was, you going over where where are you going i'm helping you you better do this what I tell you or you're going to lose everything. So all them people that's on welfare, they scared to get off welfare. Or back in the day, they're scared to get off welfare. You know why? Because they'll lose their housing. Their housing in, in wherever city they was at was subsidized. Why was it subsidized? For your vote. So guess what? You work, I work, right? We don't have no subsidies. Mm-hmm. Why would I? Why? Why? They don't help me. Why would I vote for a Democrat? They don't help me. Yeah. Right. But if they did help me, they expect me to give back by voting for them. That's why they do what they yeah. do. So if you got, let's say, if you got a, 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 let's say you got three kids, the more kids you have, they basically tell you, the more money you'll get. So if your rent is $100 a month and they're giving you $1,000 a month, you can live off of that. But then here's the kicker. The father can't be in a house because if the father's in the house, that means that you don't need them. So what happens? They break up the family. And this is why black people are so broken because welfare and all of these different programs that done gave black people, they lived off of it and they told their baby dads, you can't be in the house. Because mm. they'll come and check it makes sense. and kick you out. But It makes sense. It makes perfectly good sense. But it is it what it sense. is, man. But yeah, man. Hey, man. That's our rant for the day. <laughs> all right, man. Sketch pad. We see y'all. Peace. Bye, man.